Hello everyone. I'm standing in front of the Lowell Covered Bridge, which is a historic covered bridge in the little town of Lowell in Oregon. And today we're going to do a tour of Lowell, the schools, the lakes, and everything in between. Let's hit the road. Welcome back to my YouTube channel everyone. My name is Lori House. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams Realty, Eugene Springfield and Team House. And today we're going to do a tour of Lowell, a small community about 30 minutes east of Eugene and Springfield. And you can get downtown from here very quickly because you got one highway all the way into the city. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get notifications of our new videos every Thursday. Let's get going. As I mentioned before, Lowell is approximately 20 to 30 minutes from downtown Eugene and downtown Springfield. This small town has a population of 1,147 people and it sports three recreational lakes, three parks, and three historical covered bridges. The Lowell Covered Bridge is now an interpretive center. It was built originally in 1907 and then was rebuilt in 1945. The bridge was closed in 1981 to through traffic and now is a mini museum. Here we have the Unity Covered Bridge. It spans Big Ball Creek and it was built in 1890 and then replaced in 1936. And here we have the Pengra Covered Bridge. It was built in 1904 and then replaced again in 1938. The Pengra Covered Bridge spans Little Fall Creek. Lowell, Oregon boasts three lakes. Well, they're actually reservoirs. And this is a photo or a video of um, Fall Creek which is now drained because in the late fall, they drain the reservoirs in order to prepare for the snow melt in the spring. In the distance, you can see a dam. That's Lookout Point Reservoir behind that dam. And this basically takes in Dexter Lake is on both sides of the highway leading to Lowell. And now on to the parks. First, we have the Lowell State Park. It has a nice playground. There's boating. There's year-round fishing at the lake. This is at Dexter Lake. And there's nice swimming in the summertime. You can rent the building over there um, for parties in the summer and winter. Dexter Lake is a recreational lake. You can launch your boat year-round. They also provide life jackets if you don't have enough or you need a different size, you can borrow a life jacket. And here's the marina where you can um, rent a slip and of course, our geese. The University of Oregon row team practices out here on Dexter Lake. And throughout the summer, the Columbia drag boat races are here. Here we have Rolling Rock Park. It's right in the center of Lowell. It's an interpretive park and it's also where the Blackberry Jam Summer Festival is held and the Dexter Farmer's Market is held here every Sunday through spring, summer, and early fall. And last but not least, we have the Paul Fisher City Park. It's right next door to City Hall. And as you can see, Lowell has a lot of fun things to do for the kiddos. The Lowell Grange puts on lots of community events. You can go have lunch or dinner at Armando's Mexican Food Restaurant. You can mail your packages at the post office. There's one gas station in town for your use. And you can always pick up milk at the Bridgetown Market, which is the only market in town. Then you can stop over at Stomping Grounds and have some coffee. Lowell has three public schools. There's the Lowell Public School, which is K-12. through There's about 600 students in that school, and the student-to-teacher ratio is 20 to 1. As an alternative, there's the Mountain View Academy, and it's a K-8. through And there's Bridge Charter Academy, and it's K-12. through 
there are a lot of nice homes right on Dexter Lake. Most of the homes come with a boat dock and the Army Corps of Engineers um, manages the boat docks and boat ramps. I just did a search of Lowell. There's only 10 homes for sale right now in Lowell and they range in price from $158,000 to $650,000. This neighborhood is up on the hill overlooking Lowell and Dexter Lake. There are filtered views and some of the home sites have really nice views of the lake and the little town. There are still a few empty lots up here for new builds. And if living in a small town and recreation is your thing, this would be a great option. You should definitely check this town out. With three sporting lakes, all the parks, and fun things to do out here, it's definitely worth a drive. Again, it's not that far from the city. That's a wrap folks. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Lowell. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because we will upload new videos of our area every Thursday for your enjoyment. I hope you enjoyed today. I sure did and you all have a great week and cheers. Did you guys have fun today on your tour of Lowell? Yes! Did you Ryan? Yes! Say yes. <laughs>